Hello, city of Terrell Hills. Ben Hall back here with Caddo slash Hub, and we are going to do this drill yet another time. Uh, I've got a lot of exciting information for you. I know that you have been waiting breathlessly uh, in, in order to hear this presentation. It's about insurance. Um, just so you know, you're going to go to caddo.employeenavigator.com. You will click through the prompts. You'll plug in information that you know, like your name and your address and your kids' names and phone numbers and stuff like that. And you'll be able to see everything tally on the right-hand side. Uh, you can do that on your phone or on your computer. We're going to go over all this stuff today. The biggest change was medical. In case you hadn't heard, uh, Humana is getting out of the insurance business. Uh, yeah, so we changed to United Healthcare, left everything else uh, just the same. So that's the biggest change for this year move to United Healthcare. Uh, number one of two public service announcements what you pick during open enrollment sticks for one year, unless you have one of these IRS approved reasons marriage, divorce, birth of a baby. Those are called qualifying life events where you can change your benefit election outside of open enrollment. UHC is the new carrier. The Choice Plus Network starts over on January. So get scripts filled, go to last uh, doctor visits through the end of December of this year. And you've got a couple of different plan design options. Let's go to the cost because that's what I want to know first when I'm looking at one of these. Um, so here are the overall costs for the base plan, the middle plan, and the buyout plan. Now, the city still does their generous $550 uh, per employee contribution um, to offset these, but those are the total costs. So uh, you will net out, uh, you'll be able to use, if you're on 360.96, they're going to give you more than that. You can use that for uh, something else like dental, vision, life insurance, colonial, something like that. So those are the costs. Okay. Uh, the least expensive is the base plan. The most expensive is the buyout plan. Now, here's the actual benefit. They all cover preventative services. That's not new. They, they always have mammograms, pap smears, um, colonoscopies, preventive colonoscopies. Merry Christmas. Um, and childhood immunizations, uh, well visits, things like that. Uh, when you go to the doctor, here's where you are right in this little box here. An HSA doesn't have a copay. You, you pay a rate after the network discount. That's always the way HSAs have been. If you're on the middle plan of the buyout plan, kiddos under age 19, zero dollar copay. That's pretty cool. The difference between designated and non-designated, that's a difference with UHC. So they'll have like a little star in their online system that will indicate a premium designated specialist. That's what they call them. So um, just means they've got a great deal with that particular provider. And so if you go to a designated specialist, it's less of a copay. If you go to a non-designated specialist, it's more of a copay. Um, that's for specialist. Uh, primary care is 15 bucks and 25 on the buyout. The deductibles on an individual basis, 5,000, 2,000, and 1,000. So you'll see them, you know, the highest on the HSA plan and the lowest on the buyout. Uh, after you meet your deductible, it just depends. These percentages just means you're sharing in cost after the deductible. And that's called coinsurance. That's always been a part of the plans. And, and you share in cost until you hit these numbers. So for your HSA plan, your deductible is 5,000 on an individual basis. Your out-of-pocket's 5,000. So once you hit 5,000, you're off the hook. UHC pays the rest for covered in-network services. On the middle plan, you're paying 2,000. Then you pay 20% of the bills after 2,000. And you keep paying that once you hit 7,150. So you are pay all of your deductible. It's always been the way that it works. Then you share, you split the cost. And you keep splitting the cost until that amount um, plus your deductible equals 7150. On the buyout uh, plan, you have a thousand dollar deductible and you pay 20 percent, 20 cents on the dollar of all the bills after a thousand. And so you do that until you get to four thousand. So the easy way to think about it, the like just on the deductible because the numbers are super round and I'm in insurance, so I'm, I'm not that smart. Thousand dollars in your 
out-of-pocket max is 4,000. So you sharing in cost has to equal 3,000. See what I did there? 4,000 minus 1,000 is 3,000. That's right. Uh, the other additive on the buyout plan is this diagnostic lab and x-ray, no cost. Don't cost nothing, uh, but it's got to be done at the physician's office. And then you've got co-pays for prescription drugs on the two plans that are co-pay plans, the middle plan and the buyout plan. Uh, you do have out-of-network coverage, but it's not as good as staying in network. That having been said, the Choice Plus network is the largest United Healthcare network. Uh, that is available. So I, I don't really anticipate very many issues with that. A lot of it's just change management, um, having to validate is my doctor that I like in the UHC network or my prescriptions, like do I have to do any prior authorizations again, that kind of thing. Here's the HSA amounts that you can put into your HSA account on an annual basis. It depends on if you're an individual or full meal deal family. Uh, if you're on that tier of coverage, you can put in more. And y'all know this because I say it every year. And um, just by virtue of what you do, there are freestanding emergency rooms all around. And depending on how they bill, um, they you could be getting a big old bill, uh, depending on how they bill. And so uh, if they charge you the difference between what they want and what the insurance pays, that difference, sometimes they don't bill you for it. If they do, that's going to be a big old bill. Um, so always be aware that those freestanding ERs are emergency rooms, not in a hospital setting. Everything else we kept with principal, which is what it was last year. So principal is still our dental carrier. We've got these two plans. Both plans give you $1,500 per mouth per year. Okay. So what you might be going is, huh? So the, the difference really is right here. Um, that's the difference. You're going to pay the same rate. So it honestly, it just depends on if you go to an in-network dentist or uh, an out-of-network dentist. If they are uh, out of network, then you'll be on Flex option number two, if you're in network, then you will be on uh, network option number one. But in general, so I, I just went to my dentist. I got my teeth cleaned. It's zero dollars. That's where it says zero dollars deductible waived. And um, let's say you had a cavity. Uh, cavity was two hundred dollars. You pay your individual deductible of 50 bucks on either way, either plan. And then you got a $150 bill. Uh, if it's a basic service, if you're on the value plan, number one, you're paying 10% after the deductible. So you'd pay 15 bucks and the $135 uh, bill would reduce this 1500. If you're on uh, option number two, you would pay 20% um, or $30 and the $120 which was the $150, because remember we started 200 minus deductible is 50, got a $150 bill, you pay 20% of that. So the 80% of that 150 or 130 reduces that 1500. That's how, that's how, that, that's how that sucker works. And uh, you do have ortho. It's only one time, it's a thousand bucks and everybody who's put kids through ortho knows it costs more than that, but uh, something's better than nothing. I've got the same kind of deal on, uh, on my plan. Our vision is the same as it was last year. VSP Choice is the name of the network. And you've got a decision here. You can get a, uh, a stipend, 130 bucks, 20% off over that. And the lenses are a copay of 10 bucks, unless you're really blind like me and you got to shrink them down. Or you can get contacts at $130 stipend. And you can only do that. Um, you, can't, you can't do glasses and lenses and contacts at the same time. You got to do either or. And we just list, depending on what kind of medical coverage you are buying, um, there may be some leftover for some other things. It just depends. It just depends. It depends on you. Okay, we've got uh, our basic life plan. So employees don't cost nothing. Don't want you to use it. Don't, don't go thinking that uh, we want you to use it. Family is a little bit. 43 cents per family per month. 
How about that? Um, and you'll see uh, the death benefit provided there. But every employee of the city gets $50,000 and it is free to you. We do have um, quite a bit of voluntary supplemental benefit plans. Accident plan pays money to your mailbox if you get in an accident. Hospital pays money to your mailbox if you go to a hospital and stay over 24 hours. Critical illness, cancer, heart attack, stroke, it's a lump sum benefit. Depending on what it is, you get to choose the amount. Short-term disability is insurance on your paycheck if you get sick or hurt. We don't have enough PTO to cover that. Group term life is a uh, life insurance uh, for a specified benefit period like 10 years, 20 years, 15 years, uh, things like that. We'll have more information in regards to colonial also on here, but I just went over all of it unless you would like more information, which you can have because you will refer to the following pages for plan details and rates. Some free stuff. EAP means Employee Assistance Program, concierge services um, for uh, counseling services and anything to handle life's problems. We'll have some more information uh, on there. Travel Assist is provided through AXA. You, you're probably not going to remember if you are traveling more than 100 miles away and you lose your bags. You actually have a concierge inside your insurance policy. How about that? Through AXA. Um, I've had one person use this in all the years I've been working. It's a good story, but it doesn't happen very often. So just let me know if you need more information on the on the Travel Assist. Uh, this is some United Healthcare specific info. You're going to be able to download an app, go to their website, sign up. That'll be post-January 1, because right now is Humana. This is the virtual visit, 24-7, 365. I actually, you might you might notice I sound a little nasally today. It's okay. Um, I had the flu like two weeks ago, and I called the virtual doc, and they just got me on Tamiflu. So it's pretty easy. GoodRx is a like a cash pay coupon. It's great to see if they have it. So Shoot, run it through your insurance, but also see if they have a good RX coupon. The only problem, I guess, if you use good RX, then it's not going to be run through your insurance and you wouldn't um, apply that amount towards your deductible and out of pocket. So like if the cost was 50 bucks, that wouldn't apply towards your overall cost, like your worst case scenario cost that we talked about earlier in this presentation that you were listening to. Uh but uh, I always see if, if there's a cheaper price and if it's, I, I had a prescription the other day where it was, I don't know, 50 or 60 bucks on insurance and it was like 10 through a coupon. And I said, shoot, give me the 10. It's okay. Um, so just know that GoodRx is still there and see if it works for you. All right. These are prices of, uh, this is the accident highlighting it here. This is the group hospital indemnity. So it pays money to your mailbox if you go into a hospital. So people would use that to go, you know, I might be in the hospital next year. I know I'm going to need a procedure. I'd rather pay a little pre-tax premium. And when I use it, I get a lump sum to satisfy my deductible, things like that. That's why they use hospital indemnity. This is the um, short-term disability. So that's the insurance on your paycheck. And this part, I will say, I'm not going to go through for the sake of time, but the elimination period, that simply means like you, the policy won't pay until. So won't pay until seven days for an accident, seven days for sickness. So this one is going to be less expensive because it doesn't pay for two weeks. This is for a three month benefit period. So how long it pays for. This is for a six month benefit, how long it pays for. Critical illness, the cancer, heart attack, stroke. $20,000 is the lump sum amount. This is that voluntary life, so extra life insurance. And then there's some marketing materials from Colonial uh, in here. Please just Call us or reach out uh, if you have any questions for the sake of, of your attention span. I'm not going to go through every detail on Colonial here. Um, the product rates don't change unless you move into a different uh, age bracket. And so I'm going to just keep 
scrolling through here once this information, there we go. Once it populates. I told you we did have a lot of information in here on these colonial products. So I'm, I'm scrolling through and it's having a hard time catching up. So what I'm scrolling through now, I just got through the colonial uh, information and these are great late night reading, reading materials uh, that I'm also not going to cover uh, just for the sake of time and uh, in your attention span. We always have to include uh, the required materials. Uh, and here's the summary page. Okay, we are to the end of this meeting. You can do hard things. You did it. Please go to caddo.employeenavigator.com to say your yeses and nos. The big change was the move from Humana to United Healthcare. Please do so the 30th of November through Tuesday, December the 5th. Company identifier is COTH, City of Terrell Hill. See what we did there? Uh, JG in our office can handle any of your questions that you might have. She can handle complaints on uh, this webinar, you know, if you'd like to go down that route. Um, or you can just call me directly for compliments. No problem. I'm just sitting here in San Antonio. No, no problem. I'm, I'm free. Uh, she, uh, she can handle things like, um, I don't understand the bill. I just got on my doorstep for my provider. Can you verify coverage? I'm on XYZ prescription. I'd like to understand how it could be covered moving from Humana to United Healthcare, things like that. So she's really good. Um, and call her and myself as well, obviously. Uh, if you need us, thank you very much. And thanks for hanging in there. Take care. Bye-bye.